Hello everyone, I hope you're having a really good day. Today I want to do just a quick and cute make and take with the Hello Ladybug bundle. Now this is one that bundles, as you can see, with a punch, which is always fantastic. It's a bit lower priced and punches are just so quick and easy. And of course, when you buy them together, you get 10% off. These are found on page 20 of the new mini catalog. And they've got some great samples here. And today's project is inspired by the sample that's in the back of the book, but I have adjusted it to fit the little treat boxes. So we are using as well the sweet little treat boxes on page nine of the mini catalog. And those are in the sweet talk bundle, but of course, you can use them with any images and papers that you like. So first let's start with the box. And I've already creased, gone through and creased all of them with my bone folder. And one of the great things about this box is that it actually even already has the adhesive on it. So you don't even, you don't need scissors or adhesive to put these together. So I'm gonna take the adhesive off and then I'm gonna fold these little tabs inside and I'll explain why. And then I'm gonna fold the sides of the box along that adhesive. Now, the reason why I folded those tabs inside is because I thought if the tabs were here, then when this folded over, it wouldn't actually be stuck down at the bottom and it might just sort of stick out a little bit. So I think that that is the better way to do it. And then you've got the little tabs already there for the top, and then you have the little closing mechanism that just slots in like that. So nice and easy. So we're gonna cover our box using the heart and hall papers. And this is a really great set because you get quite a few gray and white wood prints and they're very similar to each other which is just really nice and they're very neutral you could even write on these for say some journaling um, you can stamp directly on them your words because they're quite light now you could go through and score these first but i think that i am just going to fold it around the box so it's up to you so what i'll do is on the front of the box because you want your seam at the back go ahead and position that so it looks about even and then I'm just going to add a little adhesive along the side and then just crease it around the box as I go. So like I said you could be more precise with this. This is kind of the quick and easy way to do it but I'm kind of a fan of quick and easy a lot of the times especially when it's things like this that uh, just hold a little treat. Now you could choose to have it opening on the front or opening at the back. I mean, you'd want to put the seam, of course, on the back of whichever side you want to be the back, I should say. I'm gonna have it opening on the front. Then um, we're gonna put a vellum circle and it's just cut out of the layering circles. This one just happens to be one that I had in my stash from the stitch circles, uh, but you don't even really see that stitching. So I would just use your layering circles if you don't have those um, older stitch circles. Then let's do our ladybug. Um, so with the ladybug, I'm gonna stamp those wings in polished pink. And you just want to just make note of how that stamp actually is gonna fit, or um, I didn't say that very well. Make note of how you stamp it so that it's going to fit into the punch nice and easily like that. And then just punch that. Great. Of course you can use red or blue or turquoise or any other color that you want. And then for the body, I'm gonna take a page off of the sample that is in the back of the book where they use this paper for the body. So this is the pattern party paper that is a host gift in the annual catalog, but uh, really just, I found this pack of paper to be super versatile all year round. Okay, then we'll go ahead and put those wings on with dimensionals. And then position that onto your ladybug. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals just down the middle of the ladybug because I want to tuck some leaves underneath. I'm gonna say her 
I'm sure not all ladybugs are girls, obviously, but somehow I always envision them being girls. Okay, then I'm gonna put her going, facing that way a little bit. Now, to make our leaves, we're actually going to use the same punch and we're using the glitter paper. I had a whole lot of strips of green glitter paper left over after our wonderful glitter project we did at Extravaganza. So this is a good way to use them. So I'm gonna uh, punch two sets of those. And to make those look more like leaves, I'm just gonna put a little score line down them. This is where having a line down your scoring tool, like here, is actually helpful. So I'm gonna put the tip of the leaf on the line and then just kind of center it up so you know which line to start on to get it so that your leaf is scored in the center or approximately in center. I wouldn't stress too much about getting it exactly. Okay, then I'm gonna just cut all of those apart like that. And one of these, I'm just gonna cut a little smaller because I want it a bit shorter. Okay, then let's go ahead and put those in with our butterfly. I mean, I said it again, not butterfly, ladybird. So I'm just gonna tuck that in about like this. It's amazing how such similar shapes look completely differently, different in different colors, you know, different materials. Just that like extra score line, just you wouldn't even think that that was a ladybird or ladybug leaf. Well, I wouldn't anyway. Then, actually, before we put our string on, let's go ahead and put our chocolate in. So these fit two fettle frogs quite nicely. Or you could maybe see if some of those little Kit Kats fit or some little bags of M&Ms or something else. And then we're going to just tie our black and white twine on, and I'm going to tuck that underneath one of the leaves like this. And then you can just trim those to be long or short, whatever you think looks good, and then just adjust those to whatever you like. Now, just two more things. We're just gonna stamp our words, and I have those, I have the Hello, It's a Good Day, um, mounted onto the same block and just on the rest of your white I'm just going to stamp that there in memento black and then I'm just going to use my scissors and you know neatly cut them out but don't worry about them being overly exact just something like that oops and then just trim that one a little tighter Okay, let's get rid of all the scrappy bits. And, and then I wanna use my mini dimensionals and put some dimensionals on the back of those. And that's gonna actually hold our twine down so that when we open the box, or not we, when someone opens the box, the twine just doesn't fall to the floor completely. It's at least held on to the box. Or they could just slip it off the top and then slip it back on. The nice thing about boxes like this is that they are completely reusable. Like they could just refill it and recycle it, I should say, rather than reusable, recycle it. And then the last thing, I wanna add just a little bit of dimension to the ladybug wings. So I'm gonna use the matte black dots and place those onto the dots. Now there is also a stamp in the stamp set that you could just stamp the dots black or actually I think it looks quite cute um, also to leave them white if you want it and then you could just add some black dots you know maybe a couple in other places around but I do think it looks quite cute to have them on the wings here too I really should use my take your pick tool for this there we go. So there you are. There's some cute little ladybug boxes, just something very sweet and adorable to give to somebody. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. I will see you next time. This is Jackie. Bye-bye.